<clears throat> hey, this is Leslie, and I have a quick word for you. Um, I was talking to God about my business. Um, I do graphic design for women, and um, I was asking him, like, you know, what should I be doing? What what I need to do with the business? And um, he gave me um, what he told me first was, you know, to be diligent to build the business. And um, then he told me that if I'm diligent, he'll give me lemons. And I was kind of confused by that. Um, and he said, don't think about the bitterness of a lemon. Because actually, not all lemons are as bitter as you would think. But that's another, you know. Um, and so I said, okay, uh, well, what do you mean by lemons? Because usually, when you hear the word lemon, you, of course, think of something bitter. But then I also thought of a lemon as in, as in a car. You know, when somebody says, like, oh, you got a lemon, that usually means, like, if something wrong with it, it's maybe going to break down soon. You won't be able to really drive it um, very long. And he says, no, that's not at all what I mean. Um, and so I thought, oh, OK, you mean like a lemon, like uh, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. And he said, no, he says lemonade is just one of the many things that um, comes from a lemon or can be created from the use of a lemon. Um, but think of all the different things that can be done with just one lemon or, you know, like lemons can be found in food. They can be found in a drink. Um, there's lemon flavorings. Um, he's even said, you know, like lemons can be used to take stains out of clothes. Like lemons are used um, in household products to clean things. Lemons can be used, which I didn't know, to even um, remove like the stains off of rust and off of chrome and things of that nature like there's so much more um that you can do with a lemon than you automatically just assume you know oh it's a lemon it's a fruit and we kind of just leave it there but if you look through your house there it, even the scent the aroma of a lemon you know um there's so much that can be done with a lemon. And it kind of made me think about, um, you've probably seen those shows where, um, like a baking show or a cooking show, and the they'll give the contestants um, some weird ingredients. And they have to pretty much figure out how they can fuse or marry those ingredients together to make like this amazing dish that's going to wow and surprise the judges. And God is saying, he's going to give you um and myself um an object or an idea that you didn't really think you could do a whole lot with or you didn't at first maybe see um the beauty in it and how much it has to offer but he's saying there's going to be a creative spark that's going to just illuminate all these different ideas and so you may have a business or you may be um and i actually i believe this is for someone with a creative business as well maybe you don't see um how creative you are right now or maybe you think that there is a block or not even a block or just like your creativity has run dry but god says i'm going to give you something that's going to show you how you, you, you're you going to get innumerable ideas from just this one thing from just that lemon comes so much um so many different products so many different services so many different ideas and you're going to be just completely wow because these things are going to continue to flow because you as a creative being um made by a creative being there's no limit to the ideas and really we put God in a box you know um and God is saying take me out of that box take your ideas out of that box just allow um what I give you uh, give it back to me allow it to flow through me allow me to show you all that can be done all that you can accomplish with just this limit so I don't know what your idea is right now or you know maybe you've been in a place of um stagnancy with it or you don't really see um what all that can be done with it and even now i feel like god is saying like um maybe because you've only seen this thing done one way or because you feel like the market is saturated you think uh what else can i do what 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 kind of pizzazz can i put on this thing if you will you know like you're you're, you're struggling with uh figuring out a, a a new lane or a new avenue god is saying that he's going to take what you think is just simply uh, one idea, just simply one lemon, and he's going to show you the many ways that you can multiply this thing and make this thing your own, um, that you can put your own spin on it. So like almost as if you're making your own special lemonade, you know, I don't know. Um, so, um, whomever this is for, um, take it back to God, of course, and see what he is saying to you, what, 
how he wants you to spin that idea, how he wants to show you that it's so much more than what you even think it could be. That's the word.